So I had some cards just randomly fall out and I'm going to read them. So here we go. Overall energy, we've got true love. We have underneath that fragmented energy. So it's almost like, like all these pieces of herself, right? Is what I'm seeing is like, you know, all these puzzle pieces uh, coming together to make her who she is. And um, I see like right on her left side, if you know, you're facing her is this one puzzle piece and it's to her heart. And it's like, you know, there's all these things that were dangling in front of her that were going to get to her heart. And I feel like she finally figured out what that one thing was and it made her whole again. And so when she looks in the mirror, she's no longer a fragmented part of herself. She's feeling whole. She's like falling in love with her one true self, which is her. She's standing in her power at this very moment, like really taming that beast within and recognizing the power that she has had within her all along, him or her. I'm seeing her. There could be very well a masculine because, and this could so be so that the lesson that she needed to learn was to fall in love with herself and before she could come into union with her counterpart. And I feel like it was also finding these new supportive con uh, connections, okay? And these new supportive connections, they could have been, you know, random strangers. Uh, they felt like kindred spir spirits, kindred partnership. We have that here too. So I feel like it's like a whole new class of people that she is coming into alignment, he or she or both of them. And maybe that's exactly how they're, they're going to meet one another is through these kindred partnerships, through these supportive connections, through the community, the people in the community. We've got one, two, four, six, and eight. We're missing number three, okay? So right here in the future, we've got playing it safe, where in the past, she's definitely played it safe, but she's looking, I think that, you know, she spends time with people. It's almost like that introvert extrovert is kind of what I get, like where she's like, you know, she's out with her friends and out doing her thing. And then she kind of goes back in and it, I almost see her like transmuting the energy and, you know, she doesn't need to be at every single event. See how they've got like the fireworks and everything. And then she's like here behind the fence you know, really playing it safe, you know, staying away from people, places, and things that just don't, you know, that take away, you know, that try to take away her power. So when I got the playing it safe, I read a woman sits at a table in a fenced in yard in the distance, fireworks light the sky. The woman seems comfortable lounging in her lovely garden, but ignoring the world outside the fence. Her situation may be adequate, but really she's missing out on all the joy and excitement beyond her known environment. This reflects a present mindset or situation for you. There's a circumstance, a relationship, or even a place that you are choosing to stay in out of familiarity, inhibition, or self-doubt. You're making the assumption that something familiar is predictable and therefore safe. But that's not necessarily the case. In fact, you may actually be limiting yourself and also limiting the joy that you could be experiencing in, experiencing in your life. That's if you try to stay in like, oh, I've been friendships, you know, I've had a friendship with them since kindergarten. You know, I can't let anybody else inside my circle. And that's just not true. You have new supportive connections that are supposed to go in, come in and you have to like, again, let people in. Because especially for those of you who are looking for your true love, which I, like I said, I see that here. I see that here and you actually finding it, but it's through these, these connections and through you networking and through you putting yourself out there. It says only when your choice to stay is based on a sense of genuine joy and a feeling of safe honor, does this decision resonate with your heart? And again, we talk about that heart because again, that was the part that was missing in the first place. Um, it's time to look at all your options and know that you are resourceful enough to break through the fence of your own making. 
the abundantly beautiful world is yours for the taking. Join the celebration. So, you know, getting yourself out there, enjoying the celebration, enjoying the people, you know, coming off of that. Like, I almost see that as like a, a you know, being in solitude on that island. It's like you finally took a break off the island and you came in and you met, like you finally you know, put yourself out there and look at the people that you're meeting. And by you doing that, it's like you have these infinite possibilities. When I look at the number eight, okay, when I look at the number eight here, you go from the four to the eight. Four is standing over the eight. It's like this. You know, I feel like Loving who you're looking at in the mirror. You know, maybe for some of you, you know, you're working on yourself. You, you know, because I see the way he's standing there and I see how she's like looking in the mirror and it's almost like he's got the, this, ugh, you know, like he's bodybuilding or something. So you could very well be working out. You're feeling different. You're looking different. When you look in the mirror, you see a difference for someone here. You could, you know, own a red dress or like to wear a dress. You could know somebody who dresses like this, wears a vest or someone who, you know, is very clean cut is what I get, you know. Someone might even wear, I just heard a fedora, but it does not have to be, but a hat, a hat could be important. Not just any hat, it's the type of hat. I want to read the kindred partnership. And that's the number one. So it says it's coupling. You know, this is you coupling with other like-minded people. A couple dances on a beautiful beach indicating that a potential union awaits you, either now or in the not-so-distant future. This card pretends a new relationship of some kind or a deepening, caring connection. There's a sharing of mind and heart here. The upcoming partnership is likely to be a romantic one, bringing the uh, tender-hearted feelings your way. It may manifest either as a deeper commitment in a present romance or as a brand new love appearing in your life. This could also manifest as a work partnership, probably in a business you feel passionate about. There could also be a legal agreement of some kind. Whatever form of energy this takes, the wonderful resonance of support and care will be expanding in your life. And so it does talk about true love and the kindred and meeting this person through whatever connections that you have. It's like somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody and they're like, oh my God, you know, wait a minute. And it's really funny because look at this. So this is how I'm seeing this. This is kind of cool. All right. So it's like, you've got him over here and then you've got these two, like, it's almost like they're both daydreaming about you know, oh, you know, I'd, I'd like to have this somebody, you know, that I can go to a paint or art studio or, you know, go do arts and crafts, paint my house, you know, do something with, you know, let's do an art project, do a project, something creative with a partner. And they're both like longing for this. And so, and then all of a sudden what it's like this, boom, kindred spirit, here they are. They finally meet. It's like, oh my goodness. And it could even be you guys go to like, you know, some type of paint and sip or because that's what I'm seeing here, painting, right? And paint and sip just came to mind. Um, and she's got tea here on the on her table too. So like a paint and sip or whatever. There could be other people there. Or you go to, you know, an art gallery where, you know, people are, there's an art night or whatever. And then all of a sudden the two of you guys meet. Um, let me know if that works out. Uh, someone here, you guys could both be cat lovers. Okay. I do get the two cats here. Present power, like this is being in the present moment right here, right now. But this is like, okay, now it's time for you guys to venture out and go meet other people, especially if you are wanting to come into union with this kindred partnership, this divine connection. I love you guys all so much. I want to leave that here. I know that was a very short one, but I just came out. The cards fell out and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to read it. 
Anyway, hope this resonates with you guys. I love you all so very much and we will chat again soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you to everybody who has donated. Love you.